I'm Courtney Kibitza with Stalls TV. Today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot one common cutting issue, which is skipping a material or causing a dotted line when cutting heat transfer vinyls. Let's go over to the vinyl cutter and take a look at some of the common problems. The first issue that usually causes a skipping or dotted line when cutting heat transfer materials is a damaged cutting strip. The cutting strip is just this white line that falls along the bottom of your machine. If you run your hand across it or take a look and notice any types of grooves or indentions made into the bottom of the cutting strip, this is causing the blade to skip over those areas which is causing the skipping on the material. It's easy to fix. Just simply replace the cutting strip by removing it from the bottom of the vinyl cutter, making sure to remove any extra adhesive that's left behind, and place a new one down in the same spot. If you're not noticing any grooves or marks along your bottom of your vinyl cutter, another thing to double check would be your blade holder. The blade holder lies right here next to the motor on the Roland GX24. If I pull out my blade holder and look at the blade extension, this one here is extended way too far. You want to have your blade extended about a half to a fourth of a credit card's thickness. Any further than that will actually cause um, inaccurate cutting as the blade drags along the cutting strip and the material, which is causing more skipping and dotted lines. To dial it back, just turn the cutting uh, clockwise to get it to the one quarter or one half credit card's thickness. Then I can drop my blade holder back down in there. One other thing to double check whenever you're looking and getting the skipping or dotted lines if you're not having any problems with either the blade extension or the cutting strip is debris that could be left in the blade holder. Again, we'll just pull this blade holder out and remove the top cap that covers the blade. Double check in here to make sure there's no debris that's been loaded up into the machine from either material falling off or different dirt and debris that's going around the production area. Take a simple pipe cleaner and clean the inside of this out and also double check around the blade to remove any type of extra debris. After about six months to a year of heavy cutting, you may want to consider replacing your blade holder. Drop the blade holder back in here at my half to a quarter thickness of the credit card. Tighten it up and that should fix one of your troubles with the cutter.